Hey there, YouTube. This is Lucifer Lake of Orton coming back at you once again from the basement. Uh, just did another video, uh, which is why I'm in my ritual attire right now. This actually has very little pertinence to this video, but who knows? Anyways, so I wanted to address something that is sort of going on in Levian Satanism that. I can't wholeheartedly agree with, and it's one of the reasons why I actually am not a member of the Church of Satan. Okay, as I've stated in previous videos, I am not a member of Church Satan, nor am I a member of the uh, Satanic Temple or any other major religious organization in Satanism. I don't represent them, I don't represent their beliefs or thoughts. Okay, what I am. I am what I like to call a classical Levian, or a Levian, as uh, Levian wrote in the uh, Satanic Bible years ago. That little term seems to have been all but forgotten. So, um, let's move this a little bit over here. I know. Just not really able to get too much good camera angling here. Um, doing what I can. Anyways. Most modern Levans are what they like to call themselves atheists. The thing is, is I have a problem with this because Satanism is not atheism. It is a religion, okay? And uh, LeVay and his members espoused this all the way up to his death. Where um, Satanism started adopting... The atheism standpoint is when Peter Gilmore took over. But before Peter Gilmore, there it wasn't the case. And I'm going to read something to you here in just a second. From the Church of Satan, uh, Satanic, uh, uh, the Grotto Masters Handbook. And this is a book published uh, years ago to help Grotto Masters run their individual grottos and what a grotto was it was sort of a local coven or a local meetup group or whatnot and uh you know they called them grottos and they had a handbook that they could give out to the grotto masters excuse me i got an itch anyways so what they did is they gave this handbook and it was written it took me a while to figure out who wrote it because when you actually look at the book um, I got a PDF form of it. It's very difficult to find in paperback form because it's just not produced anymore. Church of Satan does not have grottos anymore. They did away with their grotto system. Um, so it's really difficult to find it in a paperback form or whatnot or the form that it would have been given to them. But there is a PDF format of it. So I got my uh, computer right here and I'm going to read a few things for you talking about atheism um and then we're going to be get, jumping into another subject here uh in a wee bit so this is uh i'll be giving you the page here just give me one second this is page let's go now page 38 of the pdf and it is right in the first paragraph. Okay. And you can find this PDF online. Just hunt around for it and you can download it. It says, as we discussed in section three, the power of Satanism lies uh, just as much in its metaphorical strength as in its advocacy of uncompromising rationality. Some Satanists prefer the term magic instead of spirituality. Because magic is active, spirituality implies passivity. Whatever term you feel comfortable with, we are different from atheists and humanists. We use rituals and symbols, talismans, invocations to call forth the dark gods within us. We must speak in metaphors, not to be purpose, purposefully obfuscating but for two valid re reasons. And I'm not going to go into those reasons right now. But that is written by Blanche Barton. Okay? One of the current high-ranking members of the Church of Satan. Anton LaVey's 
final mistress and former high priestess of the Church of Satan. Okay, she wrote these words when Anton LaVey was alive. Okay, I'm also going to jump ahead to another section. Okay. Okay, so this is a little bit longer of a paragraph. It says, uh, and what page is this on? I believe it is page 24. Yep, page 24. I know, I'm bouncing all around the book. That's just how my computer did it. Anyways, it says, But the rationalists, these practical needs, But says the rationalists, These practical needs for the ethical society Can easily be approached without the mythical veneer Imposed by a religion. In a religious context, is a religious context necessary or does it have or does it leave the door to mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo bleh, i don't know why i'm having a hard time talking right now open too wide do the benefits outweigh the possible intellectual abuse how is a religion different from a philosophy and does satanism qualify as a religion Modern Satanism is defined by Anton LaVey, as defined by Anton LaVey, is still relatively new. And there are people who agree with his philosophy, philosophy but do not want to hang the pejorative label of Satanist around their neck. People who are timid about the label, but who still find themselves agreeing with the common sense aspects of LaVey's religion, will probably call themselves atheists or humanists or agnostics or even Wiccans. They'll be con comfortable using the devil's tools but not taking his name. And they won't be Satanists. You can't embrace the militant rationality of Satanism and not utilize the image of Satan in a ritualistic sense. The two are inextricably bound together. They always have been, and that is what makes it a religion and not a philosophy. Atheism is a philosophy. Humanism is a philosophy. Satanism is not. We use rituals we have a code of conduct some of us actually do believe in a real devil a real satan a real lucifer okay some of us do not however none of us can call ourselves atheists because an atheist does not have ritual altars they don't go to church. They don't pray or invoke or cast spells. Satanists do all these things. Therefore, we have a religion. It is a religion. And therefore, we cannot call ourselves atheists. Going on to one more final one. And then I'm going to move on to a different subject here. How do we reconcile our material references to Satan with our disdain for spiritual, quote-unquote, religions? Isn't that hypocritical? If you don't understand this bedrock concept, you aren't a Satanist. We understand that religions, spirituality, is simply a metaphorical content for the adherents find those adherents find most productive. Their spiritual icon embodies all they hold true and admirable. The difference is that we recognize the process of metaphorical construct 
other religions blind themselves to. Their, uh, uh, their leaders are frightened of rational examination and try to keep their followers stupid and tractable. Satan demands more of his followers. Lucifer resented and resisted the demands of for blind faith and mindless adoration in heaven. That's why he led his prideful rebellion. Why do you call yourself a Satanist instead of an atheist or a humanist? The references in this book are to be taken in the satanic context. We create, we make concrete by invoking the power within ourselves and giving it shape. We assign the dreaded name. Okay. That says a few things. All right. Satanism is a religion. Excuse me, I have a niche and I can't bend. Satanism is a religion. Some Satanists actually do believe in a real, literal devil real actual Satan. Others, like modern Levians, don't. And they use it metaphorically. And there's nothing wrong with this. The way Levians have been practicing is almost identical in a great many number of ways to how they always have since 1966. They've never, though, until Peter Gilmore came along, called themselves atheists. Because they're not atheists. Satanists cannot be an atheist whether you actually believe in a real devil or not because you actually have a religion. It's that simple. If you call yourself a Satanist, you have assigned yourself to a religious following, a religious practice. And by that canonation alone, you are not an atheist. Anton LaVey would always say the same thing. So did Blanche Barton way back in the day. It's only been since Peter Gilmore and Peggy Nadramia took over the church that the whole notion of being atheists has come about. That's what I got to say on that. Now, moving on to a different topic altogether, away from whether or not we're atheists or not. I want to discuss something and revisit a personal topic of mine. And you know what? I'm just going to do that in a different video. Thank you. You all have a, a good evening. This is Lucifer Lake Borden. Keep an eye out for that video. I'm just about to make it right now. And uh, you all have a good night. This is Lucifer Lake Borden. If you find this sort of stuff interesting, if you're liking what I'm saying, if you're liking what you're hearing, if you like what you see sometimes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell notification. That way you know whenever I'm putting up another video. Leave me a comment down below. Please be respectful. I don't want to hear any hate speech in the comments down below. I don't want to hear any preaching to come back to God or whatnot. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Thank you. Um, you all have a good evening. This is Lucifer Leghorn, and I am out of here.